KitchenAid vs. Ninja, who will be number one in 2021. It's the Wild Wild Roses random review on Coffee Maker. Yes, if you find this review of value to you, please like, smash the like button, make sure you smash it. Oh, and ring the notification bell. Bell! I have to keep saying bell and subscribe! Yes, please subscribe. All right. Now, the review. Mr. Rose here has been so kind to... Here, babe, show them what you did. Show them what you did. The... Over there, get the car. What? Get the car. So we've had this. This was a present from my love. So yeah, it accidentally up. tapped something and considered itself it needed a crack and therefore started leaking. Who accidentally tapped it? It did. It did. See? Oh, by itself. By itself. Okay. I was just washing it at the time. <laughs> it wasn't you me. Washed, you washed it? Well, I rinsed it. You rinsed it. Okay. All right. So we have... To, so this is the thing. So... Ooh, let me show them my oh, lovely. See, so here, this then. is see, this was my birthday present. Like I don't know how many years ago, like five years ago, six, seven years ago, seven Great years ago. Great coffee maker. Great coffee maker. So it is a ninja. It was a ninja. Oh yeah, so about it. And you know how many times I ended up making the specialty coffee? I did iced coffee. I never had time for anything else. <laughs> anyway, so this is one of the best coffee makers we have ever had in our whole entire life no joke um it makes the best brewed coffee you have ever you'll ever taste it was amazing i mean the aroma that it produces the flavor and everything it doesn't it does, burn the coffee it does, it just well it. actually now actually it does burn uh, the coffee you know why it burns because look here's the bottom of the pot look at that that's burnt coffee yeah, that, and you know why? That's probably where it dripped though. See that right there? I don't know what the heck that's about. But so um, the problem is that we apparently we need a new one because the warming plate on this one has gotten ruined. The bottom of this is burnt because of that got ruined, and then on top of it, it got cracked by my sweet by myself. Love. And the other thing about this particular thing, although it makes an awesome cup of coffee and it's so easy to fill the water here and all of that stuff it is so hard to clean this up whose hand is that look my hand isn't fitting it it's difficult to clean it out so that's been that's my main complaint about this particular coffee maker and that i loved it loved it so on to the new one on to the new one so we got the new we're one gonna, we got a pot. and guess is what this one we're replacing it with it comes with some spare paper oh you know why? I'll tell you why. Because to resemble. Right, I've got to mess with it to get it out of the box. So, oh. turn that off for a second. Okay, no, no, no. Got to check it out. So this is what this is what Mr. Rose has been doing to make the coffee because we <laughs> he put that there. Look at that. All right. He came up with that. I wouldn't have done that. I've got a box out the box. But he did it. No, I didn't want to do it. Oh, there he goes with a knife. This is a uh, professional cutting. Yeah. What you don't do. Okay. Are you complaining about No, no, no. Box it skills? wasn't our fault. <laughs> okay. No, the sink jumped out and hit it. Yeah. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Oh, look, it's a box in a box. In a box. Box, it yeah. was a box in a box. It was like one of those dolls that has a. It's a Russian. Russian. It must be no. made in Russia. You know what? Don't say that. It's a Russian doll. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, one of the reasons why I picked this particular machine out, I picked this one out because of 
the sleekness of it. As you notice, the Ninja is a bit more bulkier in width. And the other problem we have is in our fantastically beautiful home that our covers, see this? It just doesn't quite fit underneath the cupboard. If you go like that, I mean, it just barely, that's, it squeezes in there like just, well, so, I don't want to say Anyway, that. it comes with a manual. I always love how he's trying to shut me up real quick. Yeah. Oh, God, dang. Hold on, I'll be right back. Uh, the five Good gallon coffee gosh. pot. Gosh! Well, how much coffee are you supposed to make with that? Oh, that's right. I think this is like a 15. Is this a 15 ounce too? This is, is that 12 cups or like 15? I, mean, I, I don't know. The coffee the carafe looks wow. regular. Maybe it's designed so you can brew it three days in a row. Right? <laughs> that's so much water. Well, turn around. Turn, turn, turn that around. It's like. It's like a gallon. It's but what is that? Is that supposed to be twelve cups? What is that? Twelve cups. Twelve cups. It looks massive. Look it. Check it out. So here's a. Oh, this should be really easy to do the other day. Okay. So here's an indoor. Yeah, that's, that's, that's only a, half a thing. So I know what it looks like. Look at it. It looks like you have it a looks pitcher. Huge. Sure, but you know what? It's, like, it's taking up the space in the back. It's making it more slender this way instead of making it wider that way. It says lift and explore spiral what? shower head. Ooh, yeah, that's the other thing is a spiral Let's shower head. Lift and it's explore. almost like one of those shower heads, you know, like the big Ooh. Spiral oh, shower head. Spiraling. Look, you get a free thing that looks like you're getting this one. You can't even off. lift and explore the spiral shower head. Mm, oh, oh, gold tone filter. Oh, yeah, that's a thing. Coffee look. Dis oh, look at that. Dosage ladder to measure your And you grinds. know what's really? Oh, wow. What was that other thing? Like two things fell came out at the same time. What was that? I don't know. No, it's because you keep pulling it out, and I don't get a chance to look at it. There it goes. That, that's the thing. That's See, the thing that the takes thing. the filter. And this and is the filter, the filter that it comes with. Oh. But you could use paper filters also. As well. That's what I like about this. I love that. It's like, oh, yeah. So oh, no, 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 no. And there's another little surprise in here. Supposedly, there's a um, there's another, like, a charcoal filter, I think. Somewhere. Yeah, well, if it's somewhere, it's hidden. That's another filter. But it's pretty because it's gray, too. I like that because that's the only one that was gray and sat and the, the stainless steel and it goes with like, oh look at that it's a little bit coordinated yeah I wanted red but I couldn't find one so there you go it's greedy though I like it and the gallon oh no 12 cups <laughs> that's like the thing I think it's massive Oh my lord, but what I love about this is the fact that it was also, which is really, really nice, is that like the Ninja, you can take the water container canister out to fill your water, and you know exactly how much you're filling, whereas the other ones, and you can clean them out too, whereas the other ones you can't do that, so that was the other clincher for me. And this one, oh, look at this one, do that again, babe, there's a lid, but no, 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 we took the hand this one. Oh, look at it. It has a handle. That's just pretty. This one doesn't. This one doesn't have a handle. It has the hold like that in the back. But that one has a handle. Wow. Now, people were complaining. Oh, see, I can reach out. See that right there? That's not totally. Oh, I'll shut up. That one's not either. <laughs> 
And that makes fantastic coffee. Fantastic coffee. Oh, this is what's also really nice. Oh, this is the other thing, too, that there was a... People were kind of being moaning about. One lady was moaning about, I guess there was a... Oh, I don't know what she got. What she ended up having. What she got. What she got. I don't know what she got. But she... It's underneath here tonight. was like a major space, but... Not on this week. Yeah. You know, compared to having a major space underneath there or not... And she's like, well, because it's hard to clean. You know, like, I'm like, like, really? Babe, can you put your paddle hand in there and clean it? Oh, my gosh. Paddle one hand fits. That means he can clean it. Whereas this one, I can't even put my hands inside of this. And clean it. There's just no way. You have to, like, you know, do the whole take a spoon, put a sponge in there. And scrub it around and all that stuff. And it just, yeah. Now, the only thing with this is that all of the, um... All of the the menu, the program, the dials are on the side, including the screen. So for some people, they want to like the Ninja has everything up front, like this, as you can see, and it's well lit. It's actually kind of bright. Um, but for others, you know, if you're kind of like, you know, going to trip on that, it, it depends on what you want style-wise. But you can put this sideways if you'd like. You know, or what I'm going to do it is I'm just going to put it underneath there. And hopefully, ooh, I didn't measure it. I didn't measure it. So this looks like this is going to barely slide underneath this. Comes with an assisted uh, warning tab on the cord, though. Of course. How handy. Yeah. So don't let's get rid of don't that. stick your finger in there with it. Do not with... lick the plug socket. <laughs> oh, oh, look. And it has a retractable, for those of you that care, that you can push your cord in. There you go. Da, 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 da. And shorten your cord if you want to so you don't have a whole bunch of excess cord hanging out of your thing. Whereas the Ninja, in the back, it has a little wrap around you. So that, ooh, look at that. Ooh. And that back around. Oh, yeah. but luckily enough, known to the state of California cause cancer, as everything in the world is. Yeah, everything does. Everything cancer. This label probably causes cancer. No, you just touch that and you just put it. I know, I think I've got yeah. cancer already. No, let's not label. say that out loud, though. Let's not, let's not, let's not. Why is that on? Oh, because I accidentally had it. Oh, it turned out on by itself. Oh, here we go. Turn it off. Calm down, calm down. There's no water in there. So what I like about my Ninja 2 is the fact that you see all these little, you see all these, these labels here, you see all that? None of it, all these years I've had it, wore off except for that one. That's the only one that wore off. Now the moment of truth. Oh. oh look at that. I could not fit it underneath there. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, this one won't fit underneath there. It's too tall. Right, well, let me yeah. do this. So excited. So excited. Ninja gets retired until oh, correct replacement. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh. Really no, you can't because it has, look, I think the heat plate is all messed up. It's going to just be oh burnt. God. It has hey. to be totally replaced. How many times are they not want you to this? I don't want to show you where we don't have a plug cover over that part. Let's not get into it. of safety procedure just because you don't have to just to plug it in okay oh okay so there's that's what it looks like when it's plugged in oh look that's lovely mm. nice oh that's so pretty though. bold and clean yeah so basically and that's the, it i guess this is what i ended up having to sacrifice was the fact that with this ninja you can do all kinds of specialty coffees whereas this one which is comparable to the other ninja. To um, the craft did supposedly solve the problem that other people were complaining about. All right. 
So, as I was saying, so the thing is, I really like the screen on here. I like that already because it's not as bright as the Ninja. The Ninja like actually kind of gets a bit glaring, and it's fine if you want to see the you know what time it is from way over there with everything else that you have here, showing what time it is in your house. All the appliances have times on everything. Um, <clears throat> but the nice thing with this is that one, it does fit underneath here. I love the color. I'm so excited about that. It's different. Um, as far as I'm concerned. And the complaints that I heard about this was that um, oh, was that lid, but most people actually really liked it. They were pretty much happy with it. Um, Oh, and when you pour the coffee out, so we won't know until the morning, this is the evening, that when you pour it out, they were complaining about this part of the lid. I can see what they're talking about now, whereas the Ninja is pretty much, you know, you lock it down to seal it, and there's no steam. But this right here, supposedly, they said you, can, you have to be careful with steam burn. All right, steam burn. Got to be careful with that. This didn't have that. And uh, someone complained about when they poured the coffee out. That it was tea. <laughs> well, that depends on how you do it. Now, the nice thing I did like about this is that it does give you the uh, ability to be able to select your strength of brew. So it just has a bolder flavor and then the regular, which is fine. But the Ninja that was comp comparable to this one had the same exact thing. So I figured, you know, for the price, although I have to say it was $10 cheaper, um, but for the price, for just having the same sort of strength selection, um, but I like this for sure. I like the way this looks. Setup wise, compared to how the Ninja looked before, so it seemed like it took up way more space, um, which is you know a major concern in our kitchen. So uh, there we'll you go. Try it out. Let you know. All right. All right. So we have to do two runs. You said. Mm -hmm. That's what it says in the destructions. Okay. So in the destructions, you have to do two runs of um, just clear water, just to kind of basically flush uh, it out. Flush it out. Um, it doesn't have any kind of smell. I mean, if anybody's talking about like all the plasticky smell and all that stuff, it didn't have any of that. Um, and the only thing I still haven't found, which supposedly it has, is it's supposed to have a filter somewhere, I think. And push. And push what? Brew. Okay. Oh, look, a little cuppy thing. Oh, it? it has a cuppy thing. How sweet. Oh my gosh, the ninja doesn't have a cuppy thing. <gasps> Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's a coffee thing. So you know you're brewing uh, your coffee. Now you're brewing with, coffee, having pushed cups. the brew coffee button. So you're excited because like, get your coffee cups Just in out. Just case it beeps and says no. Get it ready. Oh, look, it's bubbled. Oh. oh, my goodness. You can, oh, it's bubbling. It's like a bubble machine. Oh, that's, that's so cool. It's kind of like a lava lamp. It's awesome. You know, babe, if we put like a little. Maybe we should the, put a fish in there. In the back. If you put the party lights in the back and light that up, it can we can have our lava lamp experience. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, look, I've never had a lava it, lamp actually. If you have it like that, so that you know it's on. Oh. It has the I'm on light. It has the brew. What does that say? It says brew. In? No. Oh. No. It says brew. Hold on, I gotta zoom it in because I. Oh, you can cancel it. It's a brew cancel button. <laughs> Having not read the instructions, it's interesting. You know what? You didn't read the instructions. You That's just right. I want to see if it's the spirally thing. The spir oh. oh, hold on. Oh, look. Oh, look at that. That's how it looks like when it's spiraling out. Ooh. Yeah, which is nice. That's the other thing that's really nice. That it's not like centralizing all of the 
the hot water to the core of your your coffee grounds it's actually spreading it evenly throughout which is awesome that's nice so you get you use up all of the flavor of your beans or grounds that you have in there and we like fresh ground coffee we're like fresh ground coffee nuts seriously oh don't get me started i do want to have one of those major espresso machine thingies in my in the house we're just not ready for it yeah i saw those i'm about it okay so is brewing it nicely and let's see time wise hmm, i don't know how long it's going to take you don't really want it to go too fast because then it means it's not steeping it well enough right that's what i said you don't want it to be too slow because people got to get to work or up in the morning so unless you're a nighttime person like some people i don't know so i don't know who that is Anyway, it's fantastic. Liking it so far, I just can't wait to taste the first cup of coffee. Oh my gosh, and the coffee that we have. Holy smokes on a stick. I tell you what, this is one thing I, I'm, I'm like, you know, that's going to be the thing that puncher with the ninja. I tell you, flavor wise, it can make you the nicest, tastiest flavoring coffee. Oh my gosh. It is so delicious. <sighs> so we shall see. All right, so it is almost done. That's what it sounds like. Some people were complaining about the noise that coffee ma machines would make when I'm making coffee. And that's what this one sounds like. Well, that is true. It is towards the end. It, was, it didn't sound like that as much at the beginning. You're right. It is a bit louder than the Ninja. I do have to admit, the ninja was much quieter. It's probably because it has not have the big shower, you know, the spiral oh, shower. So loud, I can hear what? I can't hear you. I'm trying oh to have make God. this video right now be over now. the noise of the oh coffee Lordy, machine. Oh, my ears are almost not bleeding. Yeah, but sometimes, I, you know, for some of us, that's like a really reassuring sound that it's almost ready to have, right? Now, this is supposed to have... Oh, okay. Unlike the Ninja, this one, you just pull it and it will stop. And then you put it back in and it will rebrew for you. Whereas Ninja has this. Now this is great and everything, unless you forget the next morning that you did this the day before and you're trying to brew your coffee and it won't start for you. <laughs> yeah. So. That's the thing about that. But it's funny because I can play buttons. And then it does that at the end. Uh, yeah. But you know, we have 11 barking dogs going off right now. So, we don't think you're going to hear. Yeah, noise for us is like, that's quiet. That's fantastic. We do a, a bunch of male dogs with in heat bitches. Tell you what. This is quiet. This is peaceful. You'll need 12 cups of coffee. And it beeps! Oh, there you go. It's done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I... This is so cute. So check it out. So when you want to have a ball brew, you go over here, and then you push this button. And then when you push this button, you see that little, like, a whole bean look? No bowl brew. That's so cute. All right, so I ended up having to cancel it because I wanted to um, run the water through a bowl brew, which means it should be a little bit stronger. Put that back on, and then it starts up. And I like that because it was what, two cups in, and I decided to cancel the brew, put it onto bowl because this happens, right? You wake up. In the middle of your, in the in the middle of your morning, <laughs> well, my morning is like early, and you realize, oh snap, I didn't put on bowl brew, and so you can cancel it. Press the cancel button. Like that. 
go over here, adjust it, pull through on, pull through on, here's it is. And then, click, and it starts coming over for you. You saved the coffee morning. Yay! Okay, so I totally love that. That's awesome. I never had to. I never experienced that with my ninja. And then it has these cute little icons over here. One showing that the coffee cup is brewing. And then you have your bowl of brew. You turn it off. And then the little timer. Um, that shows later on the timer icon. But that actually is to let you know that it actually times itself down for the warming period. So it lets you know how long it's been sitting there. And it gives you a two hours on the warming plate. But I've never seen that and I really dig that. I think it's super cool. So I'll let you know how long it's been sitting there. Just on the wall. Nice. The other thing I like about this plasma serve is that actually when you pull it out, that it doesn't do any dripping through the warming plate. That's super good. That's nice. And it also has the measurements on both sides of the carafe. So it doesn't matter if you're a love guru already, are you overwhelmed there? You are able to measure it and you see where the measurements have laid once it's free. So that's pretty cool. Alright, the only thing I can say is depending on how you like to have your coffee machine displayed, if you need to see all the all the gizmos and whatnot. Then this will not be the sleek version. Will not be the one for you. You'd actually want to have it more this way, so you can see all the whatnots. And I guess that's the only probably like big, you know, uh, peeve that people might have is the fact that. For them to be able to touch all the dials and whatnot, they're going to have to move the machine to the left or right, depending on how they have it set up, to um, push the buttons. And then when you're done, you're going to have to place it back if you don't set it up this way, of course, to use. So it's up to you. But personally, it doesn't really bother me. And it has nice little, uh, I think bottom smooths really nice and it doesn't uh, it's actually it wouldn't be very much if you decide to uh, open the lid that was one of the problems that uh, people were complaining about with some of the other coffee makers that they were so lightweight that they would actually push them around and they didn't see anything to do with, with the lid or put the craft back and whatnot. This one does not do that at all. It is very secure so um, uh, it's a good thing to know. Right. There you go. And this is what it sounds like when it's on bowl through and almost done. Really. It's not nearly as loud as the regular brew. It almost wants to make you go back to sleep for a bit. Okay, so I'm about to make my first my first cup of coffee. So I just put the thingies in here. Ground up our thingies. And this is the other thing I like about this coffee maker. Perfect. Ah, look at that. That's cool. And it's on hold. And we are going to Notice that it has two places that you can cancel your brew on here. If you have it set to the side like this, or one here. Ta da! Uh oh, all the lights on. Uh oh. You could also cancel it that way. So you have your coffee maker set up like this as well. And yes, we did add our. 
Binder as well. I had that for a while actually. That's old. I don't know why I bought that. Uh, but I need a new one. Another one for other uses. But yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Um, happy with that. They actually did last longer than, let's see, the last binder I got, the last one I owned was a. It might have been a frozen one. Uh, so, not like, you know, everything we have is matchy matchy, but so far that this particular of Carlos one has um, been rather um, durable. So, that's nice. And uh, here it goes. It's brewing, and we will taste our first cup of coffee. Ooh, so excited. Smells good. Hi, Dura. All right, well, we're still waiting for the coffee to brew. It is on hold. And notice how dark the coffee is. It's crazy dark. I've never seen our coffee that dark before. That's interesting. Gotta make a note of that. Okay, it's all done. And I have to say, I am really happy about it so far. It smells fantastic. I mean, it really has a wonderful smell. And, 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 oh, I thought I was going to miss my ninja. Yeah, I was concerned. But now I'm not. Random Review